kind of, I just realized I looked like, what was that show? The cartoon. Johnny something, if I'm thinking right. He had big whopper tail. <laughs> Anywho, today is Monday. I did not get nothing on my list. Well, now I take that back, my timer. And if you hear something going, it's my mixer. I love it. I love my mixer. Thank you, Shug. Uh, anywho, yesterday, I didn't get butkish done except for... <laughs> and now I don't remember what they were. Oh, I loaded up all the sodas and waters. Well, one case of water in the dining room fridge. And I worked on... Carol Beth's surprise birthday party. She has no clue. I've gotten it with all the kids. So all of them, oh shoot, what am I doing? Are coming. Um, we are going to take videos. Um, Y'all will get to see her birthday party and meet all the kids. Um, Brian, Becca, well, Brian and Andrew, Becca and Joseph. Luke and Maddie, and Teresa, and my Alice Marie, oh my sweet baby, um, anywho, <laughs> we are going to get Carol Beth out of the house, and while we're gone, all of them are going to come in, they're going to park over at Mimi's, um, Luke and Maddie, Alice Marie's Mimi, um, they're going to park over there. Let me go ahead and move y'all up here. I am making cupcakes for tonight. Happy Halloween, y'all. Hey, on. Happy Halloween. I am making cupcakes. And I can talk about Carol Beth because she's at art. She's not here. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and my sister and her husband. They're going to be coming. Uh, it's her 30th birthday, y'all. I can't believe my baby. Well, she's not really the baby. She's the middle. But, uh, she's my baby. You darn cheating. Let somebody say no. Ah, uh, whoop day table. Anywho, I am making carrot cake cupcakes for tonight. Like I said, it's... I'm making mess is what I'm doing. I am making a purity total mess. Is it supposed to be this runny? I'm stirred up a little bit, y'all. Kind of runny. Is that too runny? I followed them directions. Directions. Let's see if I can get a bigger, a bigger scoop. I had that cute, this, I bought the little Halloween liners, and then they came with little pigs. We got Frankenstein and bats. Aren't they cute? I am going to let Carol Beth, I wanted to go ahead and make them early. She is at art. Like I said, it is, I was going to say it's 325, but that's the temperature. <laughs> It's around one something, I think. Anyhow, I wanted to get them made so they could be cooling. So when she gets home, she can ice them and decorate them. Um, that, and I'm going to make that Halloween pasta I got from Aldi's tonight. And with some of that Italian sausage that I got on sale. Whoop, whoop. It all kind of came together, didn't it? Anywho, her birthday. Um, but yeah, Maddie and Teresa and Becca have offered to decorate while I have Carol Beth out of the house. So they're going to get here about 11. I'm going to have Carol Beth out and about. Probably going to take her to go get her hair cut. Um, she said, don't ever do it on a Saturday. So, I don't know. We might not. We might not do a haircut. I might sneak her to 
I don't know. I was going to say Dunkin' Donuts and get her a birthday donut. Um, yeah. I'll just have to kind of figure it out. But I'm trying to come up with some Harry Potter party ideas. I've been looking on Pinterest. So, y'all, I need your help. Um, if you find anything cute, like a party idea, um, I found some things that I can print out on my Cricut. I've got to make the invitations. I mean, even though I've already invited them through phone calls and messages, um, I still would like to have some invitations to kind of remind them. Because it is the 19th, so that's kind of, you know, you get busy during the month. I don't want them to forget. And I know I would keep one, not really in her baby book, but I do have a little memory box, I think, of hers. I think I still have it in my hope chest, my cedar chest. Lord, I got my cedar chest when I was... My 13th birthday. Sure did. I sure did. I guess girls don't get cedar chest or hope chest anymore. But grandmother made me do like the embroidery pillowcases and the embroidery flower sack towels and some crocheted things. And then once I got on up and had my first job at the bank, um, each month, Lord, that's back when Kmart was still open. Well, I guess some Kmarts are open, but not in our area. I think mean, that bindo closed up. But I can remember going to Kmart, and I had Grandma with me one day, and they had dinnerware, like plates, you know, it was the whole set, like the dinner plate, the dessert plate, the cups, the bowls, you know, dinnerware. Um, and they were like $10 a box. Of course, you're talking 1985-86. And she said, you need to go ahead and get them dishes and put them in your hope chest, because when you get married, you need some dishes. Or when you move out, you need dishes. And I'm so glad I bought those $10 dishes from Kmart. Honey, me and Fat Man used those things because I did not have really any kind of china because I knew Carolyn, my mother, was going to, that's the one thing she promised me was to give me the china. And thank God she finally decided to give it to me before she died um like years before she died because the oldest sister the one that shall not be named not lisa not lisa believe it or not i have an older sister her and my mother were cut from the same cloth i don't know why but honey oh my sweet hand is that woman uh anywho I did. I went ahead and got the dishes because, like she said, she was afraid that Deborah Lane was going to get them. And I'm like, not in this lifetime, she ain't. <laughs> so she went ahead and gave them to me. Anywho, man, I got off track. I make it up to you. I boiled some yesterday, and that man never pulled it up. And I ain't supposed to be picking it up. This morning I did do laundry, folded laundry. I gotta go swap mine to the drawer. Um, I folded some laundry that been in our room since Tuesday. Like I said, I could have waited and folded it yesterday. Yeah, I've had the ends in here since Tuesday. Y'all never would have known. <laughs> Anywho, I want to go ahead and get this made so I can get fridge. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game. But yeah, I wanted to bake these cupcakes so they're cool and ready to frost when Carol Beth gets here. 
and then I pulled out all our writing icing. I got that one. Oh, these are Christmas sprinkles. I got last year on clearance. Do these things ever go bad? Oh, best used by July the 13th, 2024. So we're good. <laughs> Here's neon orange, purple, the Halloween green, and pink. Is there a Halloween pink? I don't know. These are for Christmas, and these are for Christmas. I didn't, I thought I had... I guess I don't. Anywho, carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Isn't that the best? I love carrot cake or spice cake. Belinda, that pumpkin dump cake with those spice cake mixes that I got to the Walmart, and they were exactly where you said in that middle aisle, the baking. You know, they've got a bake it. Ugh. A baking display with all kinds of Halloween stuff that they had out. Um, I still don't know how the berry, let me get this right, the Quaker, I think it was Quaker, Berry Crunch Blue, or to me they looked purple, but they said they were blue. Pancakes, could y'all imagine? Now, to me, pancakes are sweet enough with the syrup. You don't need to be adding cereal crispies to it. Anywho. And then they had the blue pancake syrup. I bet that darn old tongue six shades of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't be putting no blue syrup in your pie hole unless it's blueberry. <laughs> Anywho. This said it was, um, let me get, oh, gosh, that hurt. I mean, I hope I haven't redone something or done something, because it's hurting worse now. <laughs> ah. Then the, I don't know what to do with this. I'm trying to, I wanted to put my, I'm using my silicone cupcake holders. But they are, to me, they're so flimsy. I know I'm moving y'all around and making you, making you sick. I'm sorry. I'm trying to move things off this island. It's small anyway, yet when you start having stuff up here. But they're flimsy. See, ooh, watch this. I am scared to death, y'all. I forgot about how flimsy they were. All right. How in the world, Pearl? Good gravy. I didn't breathe the whole time I was doing that. Uh-oh. Please, Lord, Heavenly Father, please let it fit. Oh, it's stuck to the one underneath. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and for any Auburn people, they done fired the head coach. It ain't his fault they got, you know, you gonna have bad years. You can't have a good year every year. Alabama didn't have a good year this year compared to, and you know they ain't gonna fire Nick Saban. <gasps> See, that came out. Sweet Hannings. That one did too. Yes, I'm licking it. Showing him. And I ain't ashamed. I know next time to put the silicone things on the pan before I pour the mess. Because now I done made a mess. Lord have mercy. I got carrot cake everywhere. Alright, I'm going to put this in the oven. Hey, Google. Set timer, 15 minutes. Second timer for 15 minutes. Starting now. Okay. Oh, and I did dust my bedroom this morning. Folded his clothes, folded, well, folded mine from Tuesdays. I got a load in the 
washer I need to move to the dryer I picked up the living room but you can't tell it because I need to pick it up again tonight for supper like I said I'm going to make the little Halloween pastas Carol Beth was so excited Saturday when I told her I said get that and put it in the booking she looked at me that and I'm like yeah we're going to have the Halloween pasta that and I'm like, yeah, you don't want it? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I called her. She she got it and put it in the buggy. And then I'd stop to look at something else or get something else. And I called her. She had done pulled it out of the buggy. And she was just standing looking. Black, orange, yellow. Orange, yellow, black. If you look real close, there's a bat, there's a pumpkin, he's upside down. Uh, there he is sideways. We'll do that. There's a pumpkin, and then there's the spider. And I didn't realize, but she caught on. She did. She caught it. There is a orange pumpkin, a black pumpkin, and a yellow pumpkin. There's an orange spider, a black spider, and a yellow spider. There's an orange bat, a black bat, and a yellow bat. <laughs> and she's telling orange, black, yellow. Black, orange, yellow. Bless her heart. She was so excited. Honey, they had them things marked down to a dollar. Might have been a dollar. Oh, gosh. Might have been a dollar ninety-nine. I don't remember. I've got all kinds. I bet you if I would have checked my cupcake liners. Well, no, there's all different kinds of spring colors. And we keep... Well, we hadn't ever used them all. I forgot how many came in that set. We've got the, uh, this goes through a straw. I forgot we got those. And these are cupcake toppers. Little mermaid down here. Oh, yeah, here's the, there's Tangled. She picked these out one day when we were at the, Dollar Tree, I want to say. Yeah, there's the Disney Princess Cupcake Liners. Um, I mean, all kinds. Oh, here's an Ariel and a Flounder Straw Holder. I might get one of these out for her. A straw. That would probably tickle her to no end. What all we got? Looks like... Oh, here's a tangled one or is this Rapunzel well Rapunzel was tangled wasn't she yeah yeah so I'm gonna pull each one that we got left each kind that we got left and I'm gonna let her pick but I gotta remember I got you think I need any more I don't think Will I buy some Christmas ones? You bet your bippy. <laughs> I just thought something. She is wanting cheesecakes for her birthday. Cheesecake. She picked out Oreo cheesecake. So I got to get the kit and make it. Anywho, she didn't know everybody's coming. So I'm figuring those Jello no bake cheesecakes, you know, the mixes. Two originals, two strawberries. And two Oreos and I was gonna do the cakes but with one of the decoration sets that's coming they had the Harry Potter cupcake toppers I can make those cheesecakes in muffin cups I've seen it done before and then they can just eat it out of the muffin cup or would that be that would be kind of breaky wouldn't it how could I do that? How can I turn them into without them being all kind of funky? I know you can buy the little mini pie crust things. That's what my sister does whenever she makes it now. Or she makes her homemade cheesecake thing. 
um, she uses those little mini crust. I might price those because they come with their own little tin. My price is. That just occurred to me. And that way I could use the cupcake holders. I was going to do um, like one on kind of each slice of cheesecake. That still might be a viable idea. I'm bouncing ideas off y'all. Please tell me if I'm crazy you need to hush. Or, hey, I found this. She, I'm going to do chicken nuggets for one of the main things. I think chicken nuggets and chips. Because I asked her, I said, baby girl, what's one of your favorite lunches that mama can make you? Why? Don't ask questions. Just what is your favorite? And she said, peanut butter and jelly. Because I can make it myself. And I want that sweet, baby girl. She said, I really like grilled cheese, but I can't make that myself. And I don't want to bother you. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm, th I'm thinking about for your birthday. I'm thinking about for your birthday. So, we're not going out. I'm like, yeah, we're going to go out. But it might be like for breakfast. You know, I'm thinking ahead. Um, we might do the Dunkin'. Oh, Dunkin'. <laughs> Honey, let me tell y'all about a fat man. Man, that boy. He. Yeah. He had convinced me. Him and Carol Beth. That's what he was using. He was using Carol Beth. Carol Beth, they ever get chocolate milk. Now, like, have you ever seen chocolate milk in our refrigerator? No, that's why I was asking. I'm like, no, I do not buy chocolate milk. I said, I never really thought about it. Because when Becca was here, don't you bring no chocolate milk in this house. Uh-uh. You would catch her walking around the house with the jug chugging it. And Carol Beth would tell her, I don't want to drink after you. And Becca's like, that's what I was hoping for because now it's all mine. I'm like, you little turd. So, I have not, I mean, I just got out of the habit when Becca was here, and I just have not. You know? I can be doing some projects while I'm sitting here yammering and running my ball. But anywho, that man, sorry if I'm jerking y'all. That man, by Saturday night. He had, um, well, no, I think he finished it off sa uh, Sunday morning with the cinnamon rolls. And that was something else. He had convinced, Carol Beth, Carol Beth, come here. We were in the deli section. I was looking for, um, oh, those cookies, and they didn't have them, so I'm going to pop in tomorrow after physical therapy and see if I can find them. Because I was going to freeze one container. You get 30 mini cookies and you get two of them for the price of one because you're buying one get one. Maybe I need to buy four. Maybe I need to buy four. Because I priced a cookie tray at Walmart. You get 36 cookies for $12. It's $11.96. What the heck? No. No, 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 no. And I was going to, you know, put those out for Carol Beth's birthday. Um, but if I got four of them, I could leave some out and then freeze and then bring one out. Anywho, about that man. Let me tell you what that little turd did. He drank a, a gas, well, no, nah, we got a half gallon. He drank, I know, two glasses of that chocolate milk. Carol Beth had one. Sunday morning, we had those cinnamon rolls. He finished off the chocolate milk. Carol Beth got one glass, one glass out of it. So who did he really want to buy that for? Baby girl or himself? Let's think. Hmm. He had three or four glasses out of it, and she had one. Who did he buy it for? Or, or who did he want it for? 
honey please and then the snack cakes the edamins and then the art well the hostess and then the little debbie the little debbie cupcakes those golden cupcakes it's like a yellow cake with chocolate frosting and then white stuff in the middle whatever they use is that stuff and stuff um it might have been marshmallow fluff I gotta draw that down there. I don't know what to use it on. Anywho, um, those cupcakes are gone. I had one. Carol Beth had one today with lunch. I was checking the Nutty Buddies. There is one left in there. One. We bought them Saturday. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many Carol Beth had, but I can guarantee you. And there are two in each little sleeve of the Nutty Bars. Fat Man took two sleeves. So that's four Nutty Buddies with, to work with him today. And then he talking about his stomach being, you think? I'm just saying. Of course, he's got to keep his name, the fat man. You know what I mean? All right. I got to figure out bills. I need to go swap laundry. I'm waiting on those cupcakes. And I'm trying to watch another episode of the following. CW is free. Um, streaming. It, it's on our uh, smart TV. We can just do... CW and it comes on y'all it's called the following Kevin Bacon he was not cute at all to me when he was young like when he did Fit Loose and you know his early movies he is like Sean Connery or Sam Elliott they got better as they got older you know something about that gray hair and I'd made the comment because Fat Man got caught up in watching the episode yesterday with me. And I'd seen that one and I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn it off. You can have the, the remote and watch something. I'd like to see another episode. You done got me in that. <laughs> and I said something about Kevin Bacon. Honey, that gray hair. And I, I made the comment like, Sean Connery and Sam Elliott. Well, I'm sorry mine ain't going gray. That's, that, he's saying this. I'm sorry mine ain't going gray. And I'm like, going gray? You ain't even got none. <laughs> Don't worry about it going gray on my account. Because there ain't no hair there. <laughs> oh, gosh. And he's like, what are you saying? I said, tell you what, I'm saying this. If Sam Elliott, Sean Connery, or Kevin Bacon walk through that door, or George Clooney, he done gone gray now too, y'all. I don't know, it's something about that gray hair. Now, not all gray-haired men are, mm -mm, no, 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 no. There are certain ones that looked better when they were young. They just happen to look. Now, how, yeah, how come that is? How come that is? A man with gray hair, some of them, look very distinguished. I think that's what it is about, like, them that I named. They look distinguished. Show me a woman with gray hair that people say, she looks better now than when she was young. Is there one? Bo Sutton. Honey, you. Now, I don't know what you look like younger. But, girl, she is amazing. She, uh, she's a subscriber of ours. Been with us near about since the beginning, hadn't you, Beau? Um, her son runs the church that we stream on Facebook. Oh. My cupcakes is done. I'll be back. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Say, hey, Horns. Hey, Horns. <laughs> Shh.
she got some birthday goodie in the mail, and I asked her if she didn't want to wait until her birthday. What did you say, baby girl? Wait for two weeks? You out of your darn mind? <laughs> I don't think so. So, whenever you open it, there should be a slip of paper inside that tells you who it's from. Okay. But yeah, she didn't want to wait for her birthday. She's like, forget that. Yeah, forget that. I want it, and I want it now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like the commercial. It's my money. I want it now. <laughs> this ain't money. It's gifts. I know, but still. Okay, that should, one of those should say who it's from. From Penny Grant. Oh. From Iowa. Oh, wow. Can you say thank you? Thank you. That was so sweet, Penny. You didn't have to do Ooh, that. Oh, it's nail brushes. Oh, cool. Nails. Ooh. Thank you. All Make right. Make some pretty designs on the nail. Yes. Yeah, some of them don't have the name. One of them that had the name on it. It's just a. It doesn't have a name. Who it's from? Oh, this one's from. It says it's from you. Well, then maybe I don't want you open it. <laughs> I don't remember. No, that was just the address. It's oh. from Peggy Grant, too. She messaged me and said that she had ordered that for you, and she's hoping your phone fits in it. Yep. It's Isn't that the one? Yeah, that's one you had marked on your list. Uh -huh. Your Amazon wish list. Oh, it can go in your back. Yep. You pull it's the string. So cute. That is. Oh, it's it's down inside. Oh, look. <laughs> and you probably can adjust it. Yeah, that one's got a strap on it. You can adjust. Yep, it's cute. That is cute. And oh, it's a warranty card. Ah. But anyway, thank you. Thank you, Peggy. Penny. Penny. I am so sorry. Like, um, Big Bang Theory. Oh, yeah. Hey, Penny. Penny, 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 Penny. <laughs> Penny. 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 <laughs> thank you, Penny, so much. I'm so surprised you don't. Miss she yours. didn't bark. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we're kicking off birthday month. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've been waiting for a whole year. You have been waiting for a whole year. So whenever you rest up and you want to come ice some cupcakes, I need you to ice some cupcakes. Oh, look what I found while I was looking at Oh. Looking for cupcake thing in bobs and I'd seen those up there. The straw holders, remember? Oh. I didn't know if you wanted to put one on a straw or not. Meh. And I opened up all the snack cakes and put in a basket. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if you wanted the unicorn mask. It does look like it's going to fit this. It actually would. Meh. Up. Oh. I'm good. Well. Okay, let me chill out for a little bit. She's got to chill out for a little bit, and then she's going to ice cupcakes for us. Yeah. yeah. They look good. I'm almost tempted. I think I'm going to try one. Uh, I think I'm going to try one with that. Uh, now I'm going to put icing on it. Making sure that they did right. Sometimes, these cupcake liners... If y'all ever had a problem with the, any kind of cupcake liner, it will stick to the bottom of the cupcake and like that much will be hard. And I didn't know if it was, I take I was taking them out while they were hot 
or what went on? Oh my arm. It's bothering me now. Ugh. Okay. So, I'm going to ice me a cunt cake. If I can get it open, I can get it open. And I found out I'm watching the last episode of A Friend of the Family. I don't know what I'm going to do with this over. Of course, I am watching it the following. We done had the, the Kevin Bacon discussion. Okay. I'm trying to... Ah, oh, I love cream cheese frosting. I know why I like carrot cake so much. It's not so sweet. It's like that spice cake's mix. It's not sweet, sweet. I could not have an actual bakery wedding cake. I can't eat them. The ice with the ice and everything is just so sweet. I can't eat it. So that was one kind of nice thing, but I know why she. Oh, I know why she did it. Carolyn made my wedding cake and the groom's cake, but it wasn't because I didn't like wedding cakes. She was trying to spend as less money as possible. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to finish watching my show. Then I'm going to go pull more laundry. Hey, hunts. Okay. It, ooh, I got glares all over the place. There we go. Um, I never did finish the video yesterday. It was Halloween. We made cupcake. Well, I made cupcakes while she was at art. And then um, she frosted them and put little picks in them when they got home. When she got home, she was at art. Um, we had not near as many trick-or-treaters last night as we usually have. I was afraid. I had 50 counts of the little mini Play-Dohs, um, the little Halloween, you know, giveaway, trunk or tr uh, trick-or-treat set. Um, there were 50 in the box, and we probably have 20 left. We we tried giving them to Luke and Maddie for Alice Marie. Bo was like, here, take these home. And Luke said, uh-uh, ain't no way. You've given, given her one, and we going to hide it. She can play with that when she comes over to Oma and Opa's. <laughs> and I'm like, let that baby play with that Play-Doh. She can play with it here at Charles house. <laughs> She was so cute, though. She was a very pretty, all-in-pink princess. She had her tiara, um, her little fufu dress, and then I will... Where is my... Where's my phone? Oh, here's my phone. Y'all have got to see a picture of my Teresa. She is um, Luke's sister, and she is just as much a child of ours as anybody. She is, she's our girl. She is our girl. She decided she was going to dress up like an Oma. And Carol Beth's like, y'all are the spitting image. <laughs> I mean, she had me down to the pearls and the eyeglass chain. And look how similar the hair is, color and everything. <laughs> she had gotten the wig from, I think, Spirit Halloween, they said. And it actually had rollers in it. But you could see, like, the undercap of the wig, you know, of the thing. It was, like, black, silky. And you could see it. So, Maddie decided they need to take the rollers out and just fluff it up like Omas. But look how much that. <laughs> oh. And it was. That was me. <laughs> I told her I was very proud and honored that she chose to be me for Halloween. <laughs> Anyhow, 
we got busy with all that and doing trick-or-treaters and trying to eat supper. And then we discovered something. Bum, bum, bum. When are the shoes going to quit dropping? I'm just asking. If it ain't one dead burn thing, it's another. We were down. We, we were. We were down to one that big chest freezer we've got. I call it my my coffin in case anybody kicks me off bad enough. They going in there. <laughs> Anywho, it died. Evidently, it died days ago. Yeah, I'm doing this part way for oh my gosh. And oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not funny, but it's funny. I mean, yeah, at this point, you just got to laugh. Because crying ain't don't going to do no good. Um, Luckily, Luke and Maddie had come back. To, I meant to ask them if they had room in their freezers. And luckily, they came back to the house to kind of rest up from trick-or-treating. And um, I asked them then. I'm like... I hate to ask and bother y'all, but do you have room in your freezer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got room. Why? And I'm like, that one went out. And Luke's like, again? I'm like, no, this is the other one. But still, he said, y'all have the worst luck with freezers. I'm like, don't we, though? Anywho, Batman and him got in there while I was in here with Alice Marie. I asked if they needed me to help, and like, Look, you one-winged something. You just sitting there play with baby. <laughs> I'm, I would love to do that. And y'all, I don't know what I've done. Like I said yesterday, it hurts worse now than it did when I first had it done. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it because I'm not doing physical therapy every day like I'm supposed to? I'm supposed to do it here at home. Some days I do. Some days I don't. It's just a thing. Anywho, um, they got the majority of the big meats to their house. We had some things that were down at the very bottom with the big meat that was still kind of frozen. It had ice in it. Our bag of ice that we had in there, it was still frozen. So... We put all that and put in our big cooler with that bag of ice. I've got to hurry up and do something today, and I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to just go ahead and chunk it. I mean, you're basically talking. We probably threw away easily, especially with today's prizes. <sighs> $300 worth of food. I'm not kidding. Because that thing was jam-packed. Um, the hamburger meat that I'd done browned up for my surgery, that was 20 pounds of hamburger meat. Gone. All my meatloaves I made up. Gone. Um... Some barbecue we had. I, I was able to salvage so far. i got to hurry up and figure out how to get it into a freezer somewhere. We've got the one at the bottom of our fridge in the kitchen. And the one at the top of the refrigerator in the dining room. Honey, that man slammed that so full, it ain't even a tickle. You know what I mean? It ain't funny. Um... But I got our camp stew. It was still frozen. We had bought 10, what is it, pints, quarts, 10 quarts, 10 quarts. I do believe that's what the container is. Um, that was $100 worth of camp stew, but it went to a very, very good cause. And it helped us out tremendously. I had pulled containers out. We still got... I don't know. I'd have to go count. We've got a good bit left, though. Too much to throw away that I would cry about it, you know what I mean? Anywho, that's our fiasco. 
Well, it's Luke and Maddie and the baby and Therese left. Um, then I got in there and started helping Batman pull out the rest of the stuff. That's when we found the camp stew. And we found a couple other things that were still kind of icy. I'm trying to salvage all of our field peas that we had put up. And I smelt of them this morning. There's no salvage in soured peas. Yeah. That was two bushels. Two. So, there's our dilemma. And now we don't have money to get a replacement fridge. We were already in a tight anyway. So, and we still got to get Carol Best's birthday stuff. Like plates, decorations, balloons. I don't care if we're late on a payment somewhere. <laughs> that baby girl's going to have a 30th birthday party. You hear me? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, she's going to have her 30th birthday. Hopefully that man can get some overtime. But anywho, I digress. That's going to be my plan today. Figure out somebody that can take this food for us and keep it in their freezer. Yeah. Or at least make room in our refrigerator freezer, which slam packed full, um, to put the camp stew. That's the main thing I want to salvage. But all our hamburger meat, raw and pre-cooked, We don't have any hamburger meat in this house. And that $1.95 sale they had, I ain't going to see that price no more. <laughs> I got to laugh about it to keep from crying. Anywho, so this is going to finish out that video. So be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Share, play nice with the others. If you need bail money. Well, I, I can't help you with bill money. <laughs> Heck, I need freezer money <laughs> and meat money <laughs> and birthday money. <laughs> I'll get me a can and sit out on the bypass and the interstate exits <laughs> like all them other people do. I'm sorry. Y'all haven't seen Montgomery, I'm sure. Over at East Chase, if you don't know what East Chase is, that is the big fancy shopping center that they built to close out Montgomery Mall and Eastdale Mall. I swear to you, I don't know what's left in Eastdale. I don't know if anything's left over there. But you don't go over there. They turned Montgomery Mall into a technical school. There's a police station there. There's a fire station in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what they do with Montgomery Mall. Eastdale Mall is just, the few things that are open, I think the movie theaters opened back up, but you don't go. At least, I wouldn't. You're always hearing about shooting here or shooting there. Yeah, no, no. So, East Chase is the high dollar. It's the bougie mall. <laughs> it's like a strip mall type thing. You walk to everywhere on the outside. It's not like an indoor all the way around mall. Um, each little boutique has their own, you know, space. And you walk on the sidewalks and that's how you get to them. Anyhow, it's nice. But you'll see them homeless people. They are the cleanest homeless people I've ever seen. White t-shirts, like white, white, whiter than mine. Now, if you're homeless, ain't you going to be dirty? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, yeah, you know, even Bo said that. He said, look at him. Have you ever seen that clean of a homeless person? And I'm like, nope. And sure enough, one day, we gone out there. I don't even remember now what we gone out there for, but we went out there. And the police were actually making a move. 
and one of the guys got up. Evidently, I'm not quite sure what the policeman said to him. Evidently, it was something along the lines of, if you get out of here right now, I'm not going to write you up. I'm not going to take you in. Because this man picked up his chair. He had his bucket of chain, you know, like the buckets that the big cheese balls come in. He had that with money in it. Like a good bit of money. He probably makes more sitting at that corner than that man does working. I'm not kidding. Because you see him there every day, and every day the police are running him off. And he'll leave, but he's going to come right back. <laughs> Anyhow, he went, and I kid you not, we were at a traffic light, and they'd had a wreck there. That's why the policemen were originally there. Anywho, I'm not kidding. That man got in a near bout. I would say it was at least a 2020, maybe a 2019 pickup truck. That was nice. I mean, like, nice. He got in that, cranked it up, and drove off. <laughs> and then the policeman sitting there, <laughs> shaking his head, going, <laughs> I guess maybe he needed to make the payments on the truck. I don't know. Maybe I should stick that man out there, have a freezer <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my fat man. Anywho, bye, Hines.